Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. I hope everybody's doing well. I'm at another new mod today. It's the Tale of Satampra Zeros, I believe that's how it's pronounced. And it's yet another one from Slime Sire. And I've noticed as his mods have been progressing, they are getting more and more elaborate. And this is no exception. This one's quite amazing. I'll show you where we are on the map. Just here at the derelict shanty. And so we're not far from solitude. And so as soon as you've downloaded the mod, just head for this location. Look at this. And if you're thinking, oh my god, that looked like Red Bag's Morthal, that's because it does. Um, he's used some of those assets and how generous the mod authors are that they share like this. I think that's just wonderful. No, oh, it's pretty snazzy out here. And then inside. This is very cool. Look at that puddle on the floor. It's so realistic. So you're into this very groovy building and check out that. Doesn't that look so realistic? It's amazing. And from here, you progress to the Hypogean Depths. And then basically you're in one dungeon after another. So, as I say, it's a bit more um, comprehensive than the previous dungeons. How beautifully lit those candles are. It looks amazing. And everywhere you go, there are things to take. Little bits and pieces. love those lanterns they are so pretty and they're scattered throughout this mod so once you get down here look at that oh wow that blew me away and you're going to come across various mobs throughout these dungeons everything from seekers and lurkers mud crabs and um cultists when I got to this point and he popped out of that book, I nearly had a blooming heart attack because I was not expecting that. And it, it gave me quite the fright. As you can see, everything is different. Each section of dungeon looks different than the next. Look at that picture. Oh my goodness. It's extraordinary. And this is a player home. There is a player home in here. Just pick up my lost arrows. Wow. So this is basically taken straight from Red Bag's Morthal. Little shrine in here can't remember now which enemies I fought in which place. I think the cultists were in here. So there's a fair bit of exploring for you to do around here. Each one of these buildings you can get into. And if you haven't seen Red Bag's Morthal already, then I highly recommend it. Oh, look at the sounds in here. The creaking and the water and frogs oh hello did i miss one Ugh. let me bash in that revolting face <laughs> oh i love him so much wow just look at this it's fabulous isn't it
<laughs> it's really so atmospheric. Past the dead crabs. To the waterlogged passage. So you can see this goes on a bit. The staff of Daedric Command here that was being held by that skeleton until I was really clumsy and banged into it. Also, pro tip, pick up all the ruined books that you find, because you're going to need them, and also rolls of paper. As you can see, there is a few things to take. Oh, it's great, isn't it? I love Apocrypha. I love it so much. One of my favourite wee homes is the... Um, oh, I've forgotten the name of it. The Black Book Manor. That is such a terrific little house. Some bobs. And what I love about that one particularly is everything's in easy reach. It's got that magnificent garden that you can conjure and put away again. You know, when you've picked all the bits and pieces, picked all the flowers, it's something else. Okay, so moving on with this one. Okay, so I had to use my home teleport spell to get into this part. This is the actual home. It's because as you're going through the quest, you're magically teleported by Hermaeus Mora. He opens the way for you when you finish the quest. And so this is your home. <laughs> I understand. I know how you feel. There are skill books scattered around throughout this mod. Over here, you'll find your enchanter. And as usual, you'll find everything is unique. Your alchemy lab, your anatomical inquiries. Uh, storage here. Nice. And somewhere to store your black books. I don't even know how I've got those on me, actually, but never mind. A whole bunch of mannequins and bookcases. And a little desk. More bookcases. And then you've got travel options, up or down. So... Down here... Um, again, more places for putting interesting books. And uh, you will find the antiquarian in here. I'll show you, actually, before I go any further with the explanations. Oh, wrong side. It's on three levels, basically. None of these staircases go anywhere. They just fizzle out at the ceiling. So, down here you'll meet the antiquarian dude. And if you've got the requisite amount of rolls of paper and ruined books on you, and you speak to this guy... Just Uh, then he will tell you all about the annals and about the materials and then he will upgrade certain things for you which I'll show you back upstairs in a second. Down here, apart from him, you see there's more weapon racks and mannequins. Here is your smithy and some storage. <laughs> Tentacles. Oh, it's awesome. Really not my cup of tea, obviously, for, you know, living here, but hey. Um, and here's your smelter. Very groovy. The grimoire of cor corrosive wind. So yeah, interesting. And also, um, earlier on I was able to give him some more... I don't have any on me at the moment, so that's why the option didn't appear. But if I had rolls of paper and drew in bit books on me, I could give them to him and he would give me, um, he gave me a greater soul gem, I think, and some more books. So that was nice. So in here now, I've opened up this 
Batrachian genealogies. So, do I want, if I had slaughterfish scales and a daedra heart on me, um, do I want to call forth a frightful familiar from the deep? <laughs> I don't think I have those things on me. So, no, not really. Uh, and there are two more. Another one. Squamus ephemera. Hmm? Uh, a writhing familiar. No thanks. So you get the picture. It's uh, it's a fun thing. Okay, and then finally, <laughs> guaranteed. <laughs> She'll pick the wrong one. Here we go. Load up. So this will take you to, I guess you would call it your main living quarters, insofar as there's an actual bed. Ta-da! A real bed this time. And if you've seen his other mods where you end up sleeping on a dirt mound or <laughs> you know, something like that, this one you actually have a bed. So, you know, upgrade. So it's a bit of everything, this mod. It's a dungeon and it's also a player home. But the dungeon is really quite fabulous, actually. I have really enjoyed playing with it. And then to get back home again, you do get a teleport spell, by the way. It's called Mora's Reach, I think. Uh, when the quest is done, but if you want a quick way out Well, you know quicker um, Than going through the whole place again, which you as we've just learned can't do <laughs> Dark in here Oop. Then you end up going back up this again if you wanted to get back out to where you actually arrived. Remember this place seems like hours ago. And we're back. Hi. Love that. That is such a nice feature. <laughs> and here we are back in Skyrim. At night. Oh wow. And it looks amazing. All right, I'm going to leave you with that wintry wet view and call that the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, take care and stay safe everybody and I'll see you soon for the next one.